Closing the Gap uh, in CAMS was exploring how can we engage children and young people more in decisions about their care and what's really required to make that happen. I think person-centred care is about recognising uh, that people are the experts in their own lives and their own feelings and that has a place alongside professional expertise and professional experience. There's lots of significant challenges in children with mental health services. Uh, young people routinely express that they're not involved in decisions about their care. Um, we know that that means that uh, there's lots of dropouts or not, children and people not turning up to appointments. And we also know that's often to do with the fact that they don't feel engaged in their care. It doesn't necessarily feel right for them. I think shared, shared decision making has really changed the dynamics and the relationships between uh, young people uh, and clinicians and the people working with them. I think it's helped um, professionals to realise uh, the many ways that young people can contribute to decisions about their care and the real breadth and depth of expertise that young people have at their, own, at their own lives, their experiences and what works for them. And I think it's really enhanced the kind of confidence and belief and, and skills of children and young people. Young people aren't routinely used to being listened to or they aren't used to uh, having their opinions valued. And so to have that kind of direct recognition, kind of, okay, a lot of young people say that it's made them feel more independent. It's made them realise they can manage, they can achieve, they can uh, be responsible for their mental health. And I think sort of seeing that building confidence in people is, is second to none. I think the most compelling argument is that none of us can know what somebody else thinks or feels or believes or what's right for them. Uh, I think there's a real difference between uh, having an idea about what, uh, what might help somebody um, and what the different options are, but none of us can really know what's going to feel best or feel right or fit that person's particular life and particular uh, experiences and circumstances. Um, so to me, I guess it's a, it's a no-brainer. Um, you know, we, um, uh, if we're going to make the best use of the health services and the expertise and resources available to us, we have to make sure it fits uh, uh, with what works for people, and only they can tell us that. I think person-centred care can improve healthcare because I don't think it's always the outcome that changes, but the experience of care changes massively. So um, uh, people might still get better, they might still have the same health outcomes, but how that feels to them, how that they've experienced that can change dramatically through person-centred care. And I think that can change both for the people experiencing the care, healthcare, but also can change for professionals as well. I think professionals know, explicitly know, that what they're providing is really, truly what people want and what feels right for them, then that can only make them feel like they're doing the best job they possibly can.